Shalom, I give first and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Yahweh HaKadosh, double honors to the apostles and elders, and great millstone, peace, and salutations to the elect. Just wanted to go into a quick lesson, and we're just going to jump straight into it. This is uh, Psalms 58 and 10. It says, The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. And what vengeance is it talking about? It's talking about the vengeance that Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to take upon these other nations. All right. The righteous are going to rejoice when they see this because this is, you know, their uh, earnest expectation. You know, they're down here crying out for justice, you know, and Yahweh Yahweh Shai is going to deliver that. OK, it says the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. OK, because it seems like, you know, right now. That if you are, you know, following after righteousness, if you're doing the right thing in the sight of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai, then, you know, you're doing it all for naught. You know, this world does not reward righteousness. OK, but Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai is going to reward righteousness. All right. And the reward is already written. OK, we're reading about it, you know, here in Psalms. All right. So the things that we are doing are not in vain. You know, so I just want to look this word uh, reward up. Mm, the word there is uh, Strong's H uh, 6529 par ya. Par ya, which is fruit. OK, fruit, produce. Fruit, offspring, children, progeny, fruit, you know, so basically there is fruit for the righteous. There is a reward. OK, you will reap something for doing the right thing in the sight of Yahweh. OK, and one of those things are you're going to see the vengeance that Yahweh is going to take on his adversaries. OK, Yahweh is going to avenge the blood of his servants upon all that did them wrong. OK, the only thing we have to do is wait for, it. you know, this is back in Psalms 58 and 11. It says so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous, because as it stands right now, people don't think that there's a reward for doing the right thing. You know, the way this society is set up, the way this world is set up and, you know, the mentality that's pushed upon these people is that you, you got to do wrong, you know, especially if you want to get up in this society, man, you got to you got to do somebody dirty. You know, you got to, uh, you know, give somebody a bad deal. You know, you got to do some kind of wickedness. OK. And, you know, these different business people, they'll tell you. You can't be like a straightforward uh, businessman. You got you got to be cutthroat. You know, basically, you're going to have to do some, you know, you're going to have to do somebody dirty. You know, if you want to make it uh, in this society, and that's just the mentality that's pushed out there. You know, if you want to do the right thing and be, you know, a so-called uh, nice guy, you ain't going to make it, you know. But see what you have by Shemi Shai, there is a reward for the righteous. OK. It says so that a man shall say, verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a power that judges in the earth. And this is what we banking on, man. We banking on the fact that you have by Shemi Shai is going to judge these people. OK, that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to judge the earth. That's the reason why we conduct ourselves in the manner that we conduct ourselves, man, because in the back of our minds, we know that there's going to come a judgment day. And that's all throughout the scriptures, man. But these people, they don't have that mentality, which is the reason why they move the way they move. OK, no regard for, you know, what Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai deems right or wrong. You know, it's all about. What they want, you know, them fulfilling uh, the lust of their flesh and trying to, you know, elevate, you know, get to get to the, the, the next level and whatever they have to do to get to that point. They're going to do it, you know. Well, a lot of our people, you know, they got the mentality, you know, what is that uh, Bible going to do for you? You know, is that going to, uh, you know, get you money? You know, is that going that going to move you up? Uh, in this world, is that going to move you up in this society? Well, no, we ain't looking to, you know, move up. In this society, we ain't look, looking to be put on a pedestal here in this world. This world is wicked, man. And there's only one route, you know, to get up on high in this uh, world. 
You got to commit iniquity. You got to break the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. There's no if, ands, or buts about it, man. You cannot be righteous and make it here. Okay? Just, you know, laws dealing with uh, defrauding people. You can't defraud people. You know, but that's one of the main uh, business practices here in Babylon, especially well, this world in general. You know, you getting somebody locked into, you know, a, a wicked contract, man. Okay? They sign it away, you know, thinking that they're going to, you know, come out on top. But you, 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 you taking all their money, man. You know, and that, that's, that's, you know, one of the best business deals, you know, to uh, enter into with somebody. Somebody that's, that's ignorant, you know, of contract law and all that uh, stuff, man. Okay. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. See, so this is the reason why mainly the nation of Israel is down here upon the earth. Okay, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai created us to keep His commandments. All right, and that's what we're doing. You know, we're doing that now to the best of our ability. Why? Because we know and understand that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to judge the earth. Okay, we don't want to get caught up in that judgment, man. So we're doing, you know. The right things in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and the hopes that he'll look down upon us and have mercy on us. Okay, look, they didn't get caught up in, you know, what's taking place out here. You know, everybody else out here is doing uh, wickedness, but they didn't fall into that trap. Okay. And just let me bring this out real quick. This is Exodus 23 and 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Okay, see, and this is one of the commandments, man. But see, you know, Jake, Jake has a mentality to, you know, go with the crowd, you know, go along and get along. So whatever everybody else is doing, you know, that's the route that Jake is going to take, you know, the path of, of least resistance, so to speak. And because this world is completely wicked, you know, Everybody around you is wicked. That's the path that Jake is going to take. But that's against the laws of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Just because everybody else is doing it, that don't mean you're supposed to do it, man. And, you know, when you have uh, children, you'll tell them the same thing. You know, how many times have, have your parents told you, you know, oh, well, just because you see your friend doing it, you know, that doesn't mean you're supposed to do it. You know, if they, you know, jump off a bridge or a cliff that you're going to follow them too. You know, so Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, commanded us to do the same thing. We ain't supposed to follow what everybody else is doing. Okay, the thing that's supposed to be in the forefront of our mind is pleasing Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, which keeping that in the forefront of your mind will have you remain separate from the things that are going on out here. Okay, not taking part in the sin that these people are committing. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shalt thou speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. And I just want to read this uh, in the NLT. It says you must not follow the crowd in doing wrong. And that everybody's out here doing wrong, man. Okay, why? Because they do not really understand the fact that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to judge the earth. Okay. And the individuals that know that, okay, and the individuals that act upon this knowledge, all right, that, you know, Try to do as much good as they can in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. The Most High is going to have mercy on them. All right. It says you must not follow the crowd in doing wrong. When you are called to testify in a dispute, do not be swayed by the crowd to twist justice. All right. So you ain't supposed to go with the crowd, man. We're supposed to follow Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Whatever the Most High told us to do, that's what we have to do, man. Forget about what the rest of these people got going on. Okay, the scriptures tell you, envy not thy, envy not now thine oppressor, okay, and choose none of his ways. Okay, it's so just because you see him, you know, sitting on, on, on top, you know, he, he's got everything, you know, that your heart could desire. And then you see the rest of our people, you know, they're following after, you know, the image that, that Esau has pushed out there. That don't mean you're supposed to follow after that. Okay, because everything this man is doing is wrong in the sight of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this is back in Ecclesiastes 12 and 14. It says, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment. 
All right, and see, this is what we understand. Okay, everything that you do, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to judge it. Okay, it says, for the Most High shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil. Okay, so there's going to come a time when you're going to be judged for your actions. All right, so knowing this, why would you set yourself up for failure? You know, why would you continue to do the things that displease you? How about Shimmy Howard Shai, knowing that at the end of the day, he's going to judge everybody. Okay. We trying to get the hell out of here, man. Let these people get destroyed. All right. We want to be delivered. Okay. We, we want to take part in this scripture right here. All right. This is Revelation 19 and 1. All right. This, this is the reward for the righteous. Okay, this is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai judging in the earth. All right, this is Revelation 19 and 1. It says, And after these things, I heard a great voice of much people in heaven saying, Alleluia, salvation and glory and honor and power unto the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, our power. Okay, and why are they praising Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai? Because the Most High just wrought righteous judgment down here upon the earth. Okay. It says, for true and righteous are his judgments, for he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. All right. Now it says, for true and righteous are his judgments. Everything that we read in the scriptures, okay, that the Most High told you not to do, that stands, man. Okay. This is, this is, these are the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and if you do not adhere to these things, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to judge you. Now, America, which that's the whore that it's referring to here, okay, America has established a society that goes completely against everything that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai stands for. Okay, on top of that, they have taken up his covenant, okay, they've taken up his book, and they proclaim to be followers of the Heavenly Father. Okay, they proclaim to be representatives of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, meanwhile, they're doing all kind of wickedness. It's, it's not like it's covert. It's out in the open, man. Okay, all you got to do is look at what goes on here in this society. It's completely wicked. Everything goes against the law, statutes, and commandments. So, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. Now, the most high, most high being a righteous judge, he's going to execute judgment on this place, man. Okay, he ain't going to bless this place. He's not going to bless America. Okay, have it prosper and be lifted up to the top. You know, and remain there like these people here in Babylon think the Most High going to throw this place down, man. Because that's what happens when you come up against Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah. That's what happens when you establish a wicked society. Okay, the Most High is going to destroy it. Just as he has done in the past. Okay, the Most High does not change. All right, it says, for true and righteous are his judgments. For he hath judged the great whore which did corrupt the earth with her fornication and hath avenged the blood of his servants at her hand. So this place is going to be destroyed, okay? And it's telling you why it's going to be destroyed. For the wickedness that this place has pushed out and for what it did to the servants of the Heavenly Father, the nation of Israel, okay? It says, and again, they said, Alleluia, and her smoke rose up forever and ever, which is going into, you know, America being destroyed by those thermonuclear missiles. That's the judgment that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to reign down here upon Babylon the Great. Okay? The same way Sodom and Gomorrah went out is the same way that America is going to go out. Okay? It says, And the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshipped the Most High that sat on the throne, saying, Amen, Alleluia. And a voice came out of the throne, saying, Praise our power, all ye his servants, and all ye that fear him, both small and great. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of thundering, say, Alleluia, the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai, power, omnipotent, reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come, and his wife hath made herself ready. Okay? And this is what we want to be, you know, uh, participants in, man. We want to be delivered, okay, and we want to take part in the marriage ceremony, all right? Which the marriage ceremony is the nation of Israel being delivered, okay, from the destruction and being taken up into those chariots, which is the, the, the marriage chamber, okay? There, they're going to join Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai perpetually, man, 
Okay, that's where their bodies are going to be changed. That's where Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is going to put His Spirit inside the nation of Israel. Okay, that's where He's going to put the law, statutes, and commandments inside of their minds. He's going to write it on their hearts, man. That way they'll always be joined with Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai perpetually. Okay, and from that point on, they're never going to die. So that that that's a that's an everlasting covenant, man. Okay, this is what we want to be, uh, you know, partakers in. Okay, and there's only one way to do that. You have to do the things that please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, which you know what comes with that is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability, and also the main thing, believing, you know, in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and believing that these things are true. Okay, because this is gonna, you know, give you fuel to continue to remain separate. In this society, okay, meditating upon that reward that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai has promised to us, okay, because we, we again we're not doing this for no reason, man. You know, we're not separating ourselves for no reason. You know, just because you know it seems like it's fun. You know, first and foremost, we're doing it, you know, because it's the right thing. We we made a covenant with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. There's also benefits to being a servant of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, okay. And one of those benefits is salvation and also being set up as the kings of the earth. Okay. It says, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him. For the marriage of the lamb is come. His wife hath made herself ready. And the wife of the lamb, which is Yahweh is the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay. Just like when you read, uh, was it First Thessalonians 4 and 14? All right. It says, for the Lord shall descend from heaven with the shout. You know, and then when you go down a few more verses, it says that, uh, you know, then they that are alive and remain shall be caught up together with him in the clouds. So shall they ever be with the Lord. That's the marriage, man. OK, the elect being in those chariots and their bodies being changed, them literally being joined with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's what the word marriage means to be joined together. OK, how is that going to take place? It's going to take place when the Heavenly Father puts his spirit Inside of the nation of Israel. Okay. It says, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, clean and white, for the right for the fine linen is the righteousness of the saints. Okay, so that white represents purity, it represents holiness. And from that point on, after the nation of Israel gets delivered, okay, after the marriage ceremony takes place, they're gonna be 100 percent righteous. OK, this this is what we're fighting for, man. This is the reason why we're, we are serving Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shah. OK, we want to get back to that original estate that we had going all the way back to when the Most High first created man. OK, the difference this go around is that we're not going to be able to go off. OK, we're not going to be able to commit sin. We ain't going to have Satan in our mind trying to lead us astray, you know, trying to tempt us. Hey, you, you can do this. You know, you, you can go off here. You ain't got to listen to what the Most High tells you to do. That's not going to be there, man. The only thing that's going to be in our mind is doing the things that please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? You know, so I just want to go into that. Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai willing. It was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Yahweh Double honors to the apostles, the elders at Great Millstone. Shalom.